Hi all, I just wanna go through how to use a special Google application that Mr. Lindsay pushed to you and it's called Equatio. So I wanna show you how to use it if you need to insert a radical symbol or a different symbol of any type. So this is actually your homework for dividing radical expressions. I'm not gonna give you the right answers on it, but I wanna go through that as well. On the side, I gave you six problems and then on the side I kinda of gave you a essentially a hint as to how to solve the problem. So for example, in the first problem, they're both perfect squares, so simplify and solve. Um, next problem, the denominator can actually be divided into the numerator, so you should do that. That's actually the same down here. When we get to this side, these three, you must rationalize the denominator, and I showed you, or I uh, implied to you how to do it. You have to multiply the top and the bottom by the denominator. So this one, you multiply top and bottom by square root of five. This one, top and bottom by square root of eight, and this one, top and bottom by three square root of five. And then you'd finish by simplifying. But how do you get that radical symbol in there? Well, you've got hopefully something called Equatio. If you don't, you should probably get it from the Chrome store, E-Q-U-A-T-I-O, Equatio. It is this little symbol right here, and we would like to start that. See how it says Equatio on it? All right, so I'm gonna click it to start it, and it's gonna have access to this site, and it's down here at the bottom. And I want to um, go ahead and Oops, not that one. Let's see if I can move this. Uh-oh, it's behind my thing. I can't get to it. Let's see if I can get there. All right, it's the first one that says Equatio on it. So it's the first one that you can click. And um, you start typing the math here. So let's just randomly say that the answer is um, 6 square root of 7. That is not an answer on here, by the way. So 6... And then I just start typing square root, and there it is, seven. All right, so let's say that's my answer, and I would like to insert that then. It's gonna insert as a picture, so make sure that this is all right, and then you insert the math, and it does all this fancy stuff, and it's gonna pop up there as your answer. And you can stretch it bigger should you need to, or whatever, but I need you to put your answers next to them. If you want to put in a fraction, um, you can do it as, um, here's what I did. So I did one and then I hit the backslash button and it turned it into a fraction for me. So let's say it's one eighth or something like that. And I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm doing one backslash eight and I can go ahead and insert that math. If it lets me, oh, it's right here and um, maybe that's my answer or whatever, okay? So I want you to know that you can use this equatio uh, to do this type of math, and that's how you're gonna get your radical symbols in and your fractions in and such. So we'll stick your answers on this sheet for me, read the directions, and good luck with everything. Hope to see you all very soon.